Well, primarily because writing is the primary means by which scientific information is shared. So whether that would be with peers in academics, for example, if I write a journal article, I share that with my peers. All of my discoveries are shared through writing. And that holds true at all levels of technical, in your professional workplace, with technical writing, whether you're writing a memo to your supervisor or a technical report to a government agency. It's the main mode by which scientific information is communicated. So it's important that students understand this, how that should be structured, how that should be uh, communicated, it should be concise and clear. But it's also, in my opinion, that good scientific writing or a good scientist is one that understands science well enough to write. And like I say, by experience for me, that if you can't communicate your thoughts in writing, you really don't understand the concept well enough. And I kind of use that in my lectures as well when I'm developing a lecture and I'm, or if I'm giving a lecture. If I can't tone that lecture down to a third grade level, that is communicate that information to a third grade level, I think to myself, I don't totally understand this yet. So it's, and I, I've, I, that holds true for writing as well. So when I'm assessing students' writing, I use that as a means to understand their uh, level of their understanding of the concept.